Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Grace and today I am a broken record if you've read the title of this video because I'm doing yet another mini glow video in which I do something with my hair except this time I really wanted to talk about learning how to be more authentic because with all the time that I have had, especially because of COVID, I realized that I haven't been living very authentically, I haven't been living very happily, and I've been holding myself back from being my truest self for so long that I don't even think I can answer the question of who am I? And with that devastating realization, I started asking myself questions not just who am I, but what do I want in life and why, what's holding me back? And I've realized that I want to be authentic. I want to help people become their own authentic selves. And the biggest reason why is because I realize just how unhappy and how unfulfilled life can be if you're not going to live authentically, if you're going to live for other people, if you're going to shackle yourself to other people's expectations of you, how demeaning, how lonely, and how hard that can be on the mind. And it is because of that reason that I want to change my story. I want to take the next step, a new transition in my life, to become more authentic. And it's not the easiest thing. I'm not going to pretend like I'm just gonna, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna be authentic and suddenly it's gonna happen. It takes time. What do I want in life? What does it mean to be authentic? And I can't answer that question for you. You can only answer that for yourself. But at least for me, the first thing that I had to do was realize the, pe the people around me, they were important in the moment, but they didn't define me. I spent so much time trying to live up to people's expectations or their perceptions of me. I grew up in a place that didn't have a lot of diversity, so I felt like I had to somehow fit in a stereotype to not be bullied. And that way of living created a monster in my own mind. I couldn't be this. I couldn't be happy and expressive or zany or the person who I wanted to be because people had a perception of me. And I built my identity around that perception. Even if that perception had changed with time or school, I got stuck in that world. And learning to break that mindset that I am more than what people think of me, that I am myself first and foremost, and learning to really find out who I am, to love myself, to be okay with myself, has been really hard. And I don't know when I will be fully happy with who I am, if I ever will be, but I know that making the steps and taking those steps to do so is the first at least path to happiness, to my idea of happiness. As I've said in past videos, I used to change my hair as a means to show transition in my life. I would cut my hair after middle school right before high school to signify that transition, but I never really embodied that feeling. I did it as a sense of I wanted to change, but I never did. But now with the first year of college, basically because I didn't get to be in person last year, I don't want to live with regrets of not being my truest self. I don't want to keep hiding and I want to find the people who will enjoy the truest me. I don't want to live up to others' expectations so that I can build a facade of somebody who they think I'm supposed to be. I just want to be me. 
I want to be unapologetic. I want to wear the clothes I want to wear, express myself the way I want to, watch the things I want to, and just find the community that will love and support me. And the people who don't, I want to learn how to brush them aside and just live life. Life is so short, it's so unpredictable, and not living it to the fullest because of perception, something that I can't even control, it's crazy to me. And yet it's such a powerful driver in life. Life is a journey and taking the steps to really figure out who you are as the hero in that journey is so important. And so I'm taking my first steps as well. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the bleach to soak into my hair and first off Look at this how many there are. Oh my gosh. It's so heavy and I didn't realize they're gonna put this many foils in my head, but I'm never gonna get past security now <laughs> I kind of like an alien too like what the heck, but I'm very excited the color I've picked is a color that I love I'm not gonna tell you guys can watch to the end of the video for that, but I'm just excited. Life is a mess, the world is a mess, but I'm going to be in person for the first time on campus, like with real people, and I don't really know what to expect. And that usual fear of not knowing has really just been exciting for me. I want to just explore the world, I want to be myself, and I just, I just want to live life, you know? So, excited to see what my hair is going to be like. We only have a little bit left. The dyeing of the color, and then cutting it, and then we'll be all done! Ah, oh, I'm excited.
Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, it's so short. It's so fluffy. I love it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. New school year, new me. I'm excited for life. Bye.